Alright, hello, hello. This is basically day two of my journey, and so far we've gotten, uh, you know, our tier four gear. We've gotten uh, the double blade staff. We're starting to get some uh, more spec in there, and uh, this one I'm just gonna like fast forward through a lot of it because it's not as interesting. And I I started to do some uh, some crafting, and then uh, I mean I made a lot of mistakes in this one, that's for sure. And then, uh, I'm glad I'm doing it now and not when the actual release happens. So let me explain a few of them. So, what I did here is I went to, you know, I kind of like uh, did a little bit of gathering. I got to like uh, tier 3 tools and all that. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to Caerleon and start uh, farming over there. And, um, I mean, the, the, with the double blade, the mist wasn't too bad. Like, I was going around getting stuff through, uh, through the mist. And uh, I wasn't getting any items, though. Like, nothing was really dropping from the, uh, the chest. Uh, until much later on as people started using the black market and that's what I did. I, I went to Carleon, I looked at the black market and I was like, oh look, look at all these ex expensive tier 4 items I could craft and sell. So I started looking around like uh, how to craft these and then the thing is at the beginning, it depends when you play. If it's like when everybody else starts then you'll probably have like a bunch of crafting stations. But here, since there's no crafting stations, you have to like kind of make them yourself. Or like you, when you see the taxes on all the crafting stations, everything's at 9,999 because people are just people. So all the tax, like the taxes on all these buildings are set to be extremely high. And in Carleon there was basically no, no, no buildings at all. And the, the, another thing with Carleon is that there is no way to gather tier 2 and tier 3 res resources that you need in order to make the tier 4 and tier 5. So the only way to, to get those resources is to go to like the, the uh, all the way to a yellow zone and farm there, or go like to the, the other cities and uh, like buy the resources and transport all the way to Carleon. And I did that a couple times and I ended up actually uh, dying once with like um, 600 uh, tier 3 stone, I believe it was. Like, uh, not stone, but the blocks. 600 tier 3 blocks I died with, and I was like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> it's not really worth it, you know? Transporting on a mule, I, I, I had so much more I wanted to transport, but I had to do it, like, one stack of 600 at a time. And, uh, yeah, that shit was heavy. And, um, I, I, I could have gotten away from those gankers, too, but... I, I tried to go, like, back and forth between the zone and try to get my bubble back so I could mount up again, but I, I fucked that up. And eventually they, they just, like, kept zoning through and just kept hitting me, and I, I ended up dying because I didn't have a bubble. Well, I, yeah, I, I could have played it differently and just like ran away, used stealth and all that to buy more time until I had my bubble back and then try, like went through and then mounted up. But I, I played like a fucking idiot there. But it's all part of like learning what I need to do when the game actually launches. Sad thing is, here I was able to play on the first day, but uh, when it actually launches, I'll only be able to play on the uh, 28th since I got the bronze pack, which gives me like a one day head start. And then most people who get like the crystal or the gold pack or have like a, the five day head start. So I'm definitely not going to have the same uh, experience when I get to the actual uh, Europe launch. But it's fine. I, I did this as like a testing to see what's going to be like. And I think I prefer to be there later because... I, I mean, you, you won't... There's going to be people in like 4.3 sets already by the time you enter. Or maybe even higher. People in tier 6 when, when I get to uh, get my one day head start. And that's going to kind of be kind of rough because I like doing the missed content. And then there's going to be people there that are going to be like overpowered, uh, probably full spec, and you know, and like I said, 4.3 or 6.1 or 6.3 even. Like, it's going to be a little bit harder to get stuff done in the mist. But that's fine, you know, it's all part of the challenge. I can always just do, like, just grind up as well. I'm just going to play a little bit more safe. Oh, yeah, one thing I, I mentioned in my last video, I, I said you couldn't get any favor or might. I was wrong. You can't get it while you're in the yellow zone. You can only get it while you're in the like the, the red zone mist. The actual like uh, stuff where you can die. Like you lose all your stuff. So yeah, I was wrong about that. Just so I had, I wish I'd, I probably should have put that in the video. But oh well. So yeah, you actually do get your might and all that. So that's something I should have done more instead of doing the yellow zone mist and go for the red stuff or the red zone anyways. And uh, yeah. anyways, after this this whole like uh, challenge, this challenge and like seeing things, if you're going to be a crafter, I would suggest staying in the outer cities, like uh, in, you know in the um, you know the fucking was it Bridgewatch, uh, Martlock, uh, Sterling, Port Sterling, and all that, and like Limhurst. I would recommend staying in those cities if you plan on crafting, because you have access to all the tier two, tier three, and tier four resources like right outside the doors. You don't have to go far and. Um, 
even right now, if I, if in Bridge Watch, we're getting a bonus amount of resources because this is like a test, and so we're getting a bunch of like extra resources. We have extra uh, learning points as well. So the right now, like in this testing phase, like all the resources are relatively like cheap because there's so many people farming it in the in those starter cities. But in Carillion, everything's extremely expensive because you have to use your mule to transport like a shit ton of resources all the way up to Carillion. So just so you can be able to like able to craft and refine stuff, it's just not worth it right now. So everything in Carillion is really expensive, and. That, that's where my, my plan fell apart, because that's I saw those prices on the black market, and I was like, oh, I'll just craft these myself, but there's no crafting station, so I started trying to craft the stations on my island. But, you know, you need the two, no, 600 uh, tier 2 st blocks in order to, to make those buildings, and then you need each tier of it, so I wanted to make tier 4 items, so I needed 600 of tier 2. Then you need, um, you know, 300, uh, 600, I mean, of uh, tier 3, but you need, you know, 1,200 uh, tier 3 stone in order to make that, plus the, the previous resource, so it's like, it was a shit ton of farming just to, to make the buildings on my island, and then you have to transport it from one place to the other, and you have to go through a bunch of red zones and, get, and possibly get ganked, and that's what happened to me. I got ganked, lost a bunch of stone, so I was like, yeah, fuck it, <laughs> it really wasn't worth it. And... Hopefully, um, by the uh, the fourth day into the actual uh, launch, there'll be more crafting stations, and there'll probably be you know, some horses and oxes, which will make my life a thousand times easier when I actually uh, do this. But anyways, yeah, a lot of things didn't go the way I planned, and I actually died once in the mist with my uh, level plated, so I ended up trying to like find something else I could use. Thing is, like I said, all the prices in Carillion were like extremely high. So I had to go back to the uh, the other cities, and I was like, mm, instead of doing that, let me try like upgrading my buildings and all that. And then the story is like, you know, I, I died while transporting stuff, trying to upgrade my buildings so that I can craft my own stuff. And even if I wanted to, I still needed to, to bring resources from the the uh, you know the major cities all the way to Carillon, and that's just a lot of going back and forth on mules that I really didn't want to do. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna wait a bit. Instead of you know trying to rush all these objectives and do this all on the uh, the beta test since everything is going to be wiped anyways before the uh, the actual launch of the server i think uh, i'm just i was really just trying to test this out and i'm glad that i did now that i have a little bit more knowledge and experience it's going to help i'm uh, i'm probably not going to rush for crafting at the very beginning i'm going to build up my my silver first and if there's still like plots that i can buy then maybe i'll i'll buy my own little uh, plot so I could put my uh, a building down with some uh, reasonable tax prices on them, but I don't know. We'll have to see because probably everything will be probably bought out by the time I I get that one day head start. So yeah, it's gonna suck for the beginning. I mean, it's that's the thing. It's gonna be good because there's gonna be already a bunch of buildings that maybe people will put reasonable taxes on them and they'll be able to feed their uh, their, their people. So hopefully they don't tax the shit out of everybody and put everything at nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine tax and. I'm hoping there's going to be all, plenty of items on the marketplace already at reasonable prices. So all you got to do is go in, you know, farm up the fame that you need to unlock him, and then just go to the marketplace, and there's going to be a bunch of stuff you can buy right off the bat that'll get you started. And then I, I don't recommend if you're just starting out. I don't recommend going straight for like 6.1 or however high the uh, tiers go at the beginning of the wipe because you, one you don't have spec, and there's going to be people out there with you know Mac. With, I don't know, max spec probably. There's a good chance they will be since I'm sure if you played all day for a single day, you could get one item maxed out and then, you know, with four days head start on everybody else, then I'm sure they'll get a lot of this stuff uh, pretty high up there. Maybe even the 720 spec right off the bat. And then I, this thing, I, the reason why I'm telling you not to rush it is because there's going to be out, people out there that are already like extremely high up there and they're going to be ganking all the new players they see out in the mist. So yeah, just a warning for you guys if you're going out there to try that out. And another thing was that I couldn't choose a weapon to play. Because I, 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 at the start, I said I was going to play uh, the bolt casters, and then I was playing... Um, uh, what was I doing? I was using like the dagger at some point. I was like, oh, maybe instead of doing all that, I could just use the blood letter, you know, and maybe use the blood letter for miss PvP, because that, that's what's popular at the moment in the uh, NA servers. Either double-bladed or uh, the, like uh, the blood letter. For like because you have so much mobility and you can easily rat people with it you know and all that nice stuff 
So yeah, this is day two of my adventures in the in the uh, the beta test. I think I'm just gonna go for unlocking all the skins, and then I'll probably just end it there. Well, not end it, but I'll do. Um, I think the rest of my videos are probably gonna be like corrupted dungeon stuff. I'm just gonna be doing some corrupted dungeons and see if I can't uh, get some early white PVP with, with when people don't have their full specs yet. Though, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Maybe catch you on the next one.